since Px is a polynomial of degree less than or equal to 2, let's assume that Px is equal to c plus ax plus bx square. But we're given that the value of Px at x is equal to 0 is equal to 0, and therefore c is equal to 0. Therefore, Px simplifies to ax plus bx square. We're also given that the value of Px at x is equal to 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, a plus b is equal to 1, which implies that b is equal to 1 minus a. Therefore, the set of all polynomials meeting these conditions can be written as ax plus 1 minus a times x square. Taking the derivative of px, we get p dash x is equal to a plus 2 times 1 minus a times x. Now, we given that p dash x is strictly positive for all x lying in the closed interval 0 to 1. This implies that p dash 0 is strictly greater than 0 and p dash 1 is strictly greater than 0. The first inequality implies that a is strictly greater than 0 and the second inequality implies that a plus 2 times 1 minus a is strictly greater than 0. This implies that 2a minus a is less than 2 or a is strictly less than 2. The two inequalities therefore imply that a is strictly greater than 0 and strictly less than 2. Therefore, px is equal to ax plus 1 minus a times x square for all values of a lying in the open interval 0 to 2. And this is the required answer.